So today's project is going to be pimping out this printer with these LED lights. It's going to be pretty flashy guys. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this is my Cossel 2020 from Folger Tech. It is my 3D printer. And one of the things I wanted to do with this strip of LEDs here is to actually add lights to these top bars right here. You see how it's a triangle? If we look down like this, I want to add lights right up here so that this thing has its own illumination. And that'll be pretty cool. So that light will then come cascading down and illuminate the bed down here. The second cool thing, which is like only available, at least as far as I know, on this printer, or so is it possible on this printer, is because of this unique design where they have these little wheels here. It's like the cheapest way possible to do these instead of like a linear rail. Um, it has three wheels and it just runs on the side of this 2020 extruded um, aluminum. So the idea is that I can also put lights on the inside of this track here because there's nothing there. So from this point of view, just behind the drive belt in here, if you can see it, I'll zoom in on it, I should be able to put lights right here as well. So if I zoom back out, that means we'll have light cascading down from the top via this stuff and from the sidebars right there giving this a nice full bed illumination which will be pretty cool for like time lapses and stuff like that I don't have to power up a big a big light it'll just be powered by itself alright so that LED strip is actually just pretty simple it's an LED lighting strip thing you can get it off of Amazon for like seven dollars and that's all it is it's not waterproof or anything like that there's been some other kind of LED strips that I've gotten in the past which are but this does have one benefit that's really gonna help us out let me show you so the one benefit we have with this LED strip that makes this all really quite easy and possible is that you can actually cut I don't know if it'll focus in on it there it goes you can actually cut this LED strip right here and there's a couple places where it's easy to solder in a wire for it. So here's a sample that I've already kind of completed once just to see if it's going to work and it does light up. So I just soldered up the ends right here and that was pretty simple. And then when I apply 12 volts to this thing it lights up. And as it turns out the power supply that powers this entire printer is 12 volts. It comes through this transformer, turns into 12 volts, that heats the bed, runs the motors, and will power the lights. The nice thing about this strip though is not only since you can cut it, it happens that the default length is in millimeters and this top bar is 300 millimeters so it fits perfectly from here to here. So I'll show you that. The other thing is that the width of this just happens to be perfect. So we can see here the, uh, the width of this unit. Hang on, let me get it to you. So we can see here the width of this unit right here like just about fits in there all by itself. All right, so if we look at this extrude from the top side here, see if I can get this camera to work, you can see how this, um, the width of its opening is actually less and that's for T-nuts like you can see right here. As it turns out, this will slide right in there just about perfectly. And it's also got a sticky back to it so I can just stick it to the bottom side of here and it should stay in place. So this should work out really good. So once I get all this stuff in here, this top bar, these back bars, and the stuff on the side, I will then feed it all the way down into the base here, and I'm going to hook it up to just a little toggle switch. That way I can turn the lights on or off, and uh, then plug it into the 12 volt positive and negative over here. That's the project. Let's get started. All right guys, so I have all of these installed at the top now. So we're gonna see how this looks once we turn it on. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, there we go. You can kind of see it a little bit from your angle, but it looks pretty cool over here. Do, 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 do. All 
Alrighty, so I finished up wiring up all the different LED strips and all the wiring that it took to get it there. So, we got the uh, strips that are inside of each one of these uh, aluminum extrude pieces on the verticals. And we also have them up top here as well. Really, they sink right in there and look really good. You can't even tell that they're there. Plus, we have some wiring that goes down and it kind of follows all the previous wiring of the different sensors and stuff that are on the unit as it is. So there really isn't more wires than what we previously had. And it's already plugged in, ready to go. I got it hooked up to the toggle switch, so ta-da! Now it lights itself up. Now this will look pretty cool once we turn the lights off, but until then, let's go ahead and make a little device for this toggle switch so that it can actually just sit right inside of here, and then I can just flick it on and off this way. So we'll print one of those up. All right, well, I got it designed, and I got it loaded onto the printer here. So, let's flip the lights on. Ooh, that does look pretty cool. You can see everything really clear. <laughs> let's go ahead and print it off. All right, guys, well, I have finished it up. I did have to change the design a little bit. Let me just show you what I did here. You can see here on the model, once I rotate it around a little bit, that what I did is I added a little bit of angle. Whoa, there we go. A little bit of angle right here, and that allowed this piece to install right there and snap in. So that little bit of, that little, the way it kind of comes up like that allows it to just pinch just a little bit and uh, hold in place. So that idea worked out pretty good. But now I got to show you how it works because it looks awesome. And here it comes, the reveal. Look at that. So you can see how the lights are all nice and inside of here. And man, it looks pretty cool on this camera. And then up top, you can get the rim as well. So it's way up here. Oops, a little out of focus there. Let me help it out. Come on, camera. There we go. So you can see how the light goes all the way around the top as well. There's a little bit out in the back corner there, but all in all, this thing looks awesome. I mean, it looks like it's something straight off the show floor with its lights and everything like that. You put something in there, it's illuminated from all directions. I think it's absolutely awesome. How cool is that? I mean, look at just the print head itself. How cool is that? And the way this, like, these carbon rods reflect the light that's coming off the points there. I don't think this thing could be much cooler. Maybe if, if, if it was moving. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Brothgar, out.